Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition, and loud zoomy cars in the background. Um, anyways. Going well, I hope. Anything new? What's been going on? Just waiting to get back out there. Great. Take care. Alright. Time to say hello to people. There's a quest... So fire in the reign of the lion eclipsed in the eye of the empire of we are the Okay. Empress of fire, what season may come with five Ah, Krim, you're sitting appropriately. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. All right, we'll talk later. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. Indeed. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. <sighs> I agree, it was a mess. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. Indeed. How you doing? You wanted drinks. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Yes. I need a drink after all of that. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. I can think of worse places to go with Chromisius. Second the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Who are the others? A lot of the chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. Indeed. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, <laughs> I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Reminds me of that guy in Awakening. Dworkin. I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> Why aren't you with your clown? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Uh -huh. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. Indeed. So, how'd you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Don't blame you. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim? Grim, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Grim doesn't talk much. 
I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or chieftain, something like that. Hmm. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose hearts and looser skirts. For everybody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horn be pointing up. Here, here. Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. I get a song for that. Hey, Bull. I can't understand how those women in the kitchen can be awake so early after the night we had. <coughs> oh, boy. I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? Um. How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. Hmm. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one? <laughs> There's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. Yeah. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting was. Please tell me that's not what it sounds like. What's giant baiting? So this old guy. Comte Van Chess has some kind of a pageant planned, but he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant, but no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because, of course, it does, and we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you? Yeah. We had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. Uh -huh. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh. Turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. <laughs> it's okay, though. We still got paid. Just like Farlin. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlais and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second-in-command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard-ass. He's good for that. You don't have a problem with him being from Tavinta? Nah. But you hate the Vints. Sure, but he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. Interesting. And no, I'm not going to pick that choice. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Oh, there's Krem standing on the chair, getting a better look at Meriden. Hey, you need me? Nope. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Something like that. You happier with the champion? Hi, Sutherland. Glad I could bring the news about those dark spawn inquisitor. Must have been a tough fight. Wish I'd seen it. Had a lull after. Shade went to Val Royo. Off, I don't know. I'll get into Cullen's reserve yet, though. Not much else doing. Okay. 
Why do I have all these quest markers? Anything here? Stuff. Um. Saving the world soon. Weird. I'll kick curfew tit in every ball he has. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Briana. The Duchess. And Corinthus. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. Earwigs. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That and Briala being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss up wasn't in the middle. It is true, their mistakes did make it worse. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Will do. the stairs to find coal I didn't understand the grand ball it would have been easier if they said what they wanted or legion nobles see politics as a great competition yes but none of them ever win very true How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. I don't remember this conversation. Oh, wait. Now I do. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship, or will others be arriving later? Ah. Uh. Who can tell these days? I didn't even realize I was alone just now. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your Is worship. Is that Meriden? can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. Anything you'd like to share? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts <clears throat> and to silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. So many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. That helps. So you help them with a few whispered words? The right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger, so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. 
Claro, era que era uma pessoa. Remember old Murray's, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair. Find another bar. There was someone before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. Reese. You I found, found Reese. out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again, for believing in me. You don't know what it means. Not really, no, but you're welcome regardless. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared, trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. She wants someone to compliment her hat. <coughs> They will never know, but I know, thanks to you. Well, thank you, Cole. Always an entertainment. Yep, guard, pyramids. All right, game, where are you dropping me? Back with Cole. This quest must be downstairs. And that one's over with the quartermaster. I do find it weird that I either get the music or I get the singing. Is this you, Bull? Hey boss, how are you? Nothing. Nice talking with you, boss. I don't know. All right, out. Cassandra, you look contemplative. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Sure. The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. I assume Good. you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. It was mentioned. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So mm. now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara the Third was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. I could be cheeky. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because you're a mage, first and foremost. If they name you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. Fair enough. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better.
I don't think she'd be perfect, though. But if you don't want it... If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars... This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Okay. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Vaguely. Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. What would you change? What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. Okay, what about Liliana? You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy, but she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Indeed. Okay. Is there a reply? In due time. Hold yourself. Oh! Oh, Bells, it's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> uh huh. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've rung out the slackers, given them what for. I think. I think I like this job. There are problems coming out of Halam Shiral. There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. No oh, good. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. What happened to Thren? The previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She had views has views perfectly legitimate ones if you share them inquisitor i believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable now that the inquisition is in orlais she continues to serve just not at the fore <laughs> fair enough what makes you ideal for this position it's an important one my family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlais. <laughs> and your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses. 
and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. Hmm. And your qualifications? To be honest, Your Worship, that was my question. I am the nexus of a dozen threads tied by others, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> well, stop coughing like As that. You are. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Forgot about that. Um, watchtower. What do I need? Ugh, logging stands. Nothing. Unfortunate. What piece is this? Okay. And the Inquisition. <laughs> Oh. All right, fine. Go down the normal way. Okay. All right, well, that's over in this area. I know I'm doing the outdoors people first. Let's go see Cullen. Since he's some guy on the way to Blackwall. Dirt with Yes. Of course. Hello. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. The Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. Celine and Gaspard rule a country. The divine influence is half a continent. Um. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. Why? Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. You can't deny being a general is an improvement to living on the streets. I'd rather die than kneel to Corypheus. Clearly Samson felt otherwise. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. <laughs> I like how there's a hollow statue back there. Hey, Colin. Inquisitor? Um. Never mind. Anything I should know? Is there anything I should know? Sarah brought me a piece of cake. She thought I looked hungry. Why are you telling me this? Because it was either an act of kindness or a trap. I was hoping you knew which. Sorry. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Great. With your big, gigantic coat. Open. Black wall. Hello. Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. All the cutscenes. Hmm. 
No wonder you needed When I was company. a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day, they found a dog. A wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackhorn. Just listen. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You couldn't have been the only one there, and no one else stepped in. Doesn't make what I did any less wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We... could... make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. Nothing worth doing is easy. <laughs> Look at you. You would have done the right thing. Who knows? We're lucky there are people like you in the world. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. <sighs> now I'm back on this side. But, I got through that conversation. I know what those two are. Uh, you know, I haven't gone and checked on my garden in a while. And elf fruit is always important. And you know what? I think after gathering the self fruit, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, happy trails.